lights and <laughs> you know. You can't... Yeah, but I don't know how to use technology, Kevin. Uh -oh. It's Kevin Mullaney, everybody. We're going to start the show. Hello, everyone. You're my third to last guest on doing this 17 days in a row. So the, the what is that the tri tri pentultimate? What would that be? Pentul <gasps> I'm not the pentultimate. Well, you can be. We'll just pretend like you are. I just be the ultimate. Yeah, the last one is Croft, just because I I told him it was my birthday. It was a pity show. <laughs> <laughs> they had to do it. Yeah. So Kevin Mullaney. Mm -hmm. Another another Chicago legend who was here in New York and was the artistic director of UCB when I was started taking classes, and my level three teacher who I loved. Yeah. Probably my favorite teacher of all time at UCB. Really? Yeah, I feel like I've told you that a million times. Have you? Yeah. I'm sure. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Hmm. Hmm. No, you're, I, you're no I always have. See, the thing is, always hard is like I know people from the people I know best from UCB. I don't just know from class. You know, they they went on. They were on teams I was coached or in shows I was involved in, or they played poker with me. So I forget where I met them. Yeah. Like I, my first memory of Chris Gethard, my my earliest memory of Chris Gethard is more like when he was my assistant teacher, not when he was in my class. Huh. You what's know? your first what's your first memory of me? I mean I think my earliest memories I have retained is has to do with Kromf. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, it's like it was way it ways after, you know I don't remember very much I only remember terrible things from classes, you know, when something really terrible happened, like some student first uh first uh, term student is Rubbing up against all, rubbing his genitals against all the girls in class, or all just maybe everybody in class, and having to deal with that. Yeah, that's always that's a fun. I think they remember from class. Yeah, I always tell people the story about um, our level three show that we had, and the notes, that it, the note you gave me and Wangert for our scene. Oh no! What did I give you? We were playing two games at once. We kept like going back and forth playing two different games, and you go, you you can't do that. You're not. You're not supposed to do that, and we were like, "Why not?" And you go, "I, I don't know, but you probably shouldn't." <laughs> oh yeah. That was fun. Um, okay, cool. We're gonna do some improv. I don't think we've ever done improv just the two of us before. I don't think so. No. Yeah, this will be fun. Um, why don't you look around your apartment or on your computer and see if there's something you see that would be a good improv set word. Mm. House paint. House paint. Excellent. They all they all look um oh no, it all looks white. They they are different shades. You know, okay. there's there's an eggshell and and one of them is beige. I mean, it's a it's a shade of beige. Okay, Tony, is that your name, Tony? Yes. Okay. Well, I know you you sound frustrated with me. I know it's been five hours, but this is important. I understand. I mean, I think most people what they do is is they put you know they put some samples up on the wall, either the swatches or they actually paint some samples on the wall, and they live with it for a few days. They see it in different light, and then they get back to me. Um, All right. Well, I, I feel like at this point, because now that I'm like looking at all of them, mm -hmm. I feel I feel like I, you know how people have face blindness. Sure. Yeah. 
I feel like I have like a specific like white blindness. White blindness? Yeah, like I can't like if if I close if I go back and forth, like I they all just melt into the wall. They're all the same. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna buy paint this time around? Maybe. Um because, I mean, I've, you know, I've, I've we've been through this before. I know. And well, normally, I would not be so blunt with a customer, but but I feel like um, you're, you know, in your heart, you're never really going to be a customer. You just sort of oh, you know, no. bring me over and show me. I don't know why. Is it do you, do you just like to talk to people? Is no, no. I mean, I'm. I'm almost about to give birth, so yes, I don't have a lot of friends because nobody, nobody I'm around. Sorry. Me. I'm sorry for being so rude. You don't need to. I, I, yeah, you're you're bursting at the seams. I don't. I don't know what that means. I've got another four months to go, but. Oh really? You're only in your fifth month? Yeah. But I appreciate you noticing. Most people just think I've gained weight. <sighs> But nobody will get up for me on the subway. Nobody. People, people are very rude these days. Well, I don't want to waste your time. So. Hmm. Do, do you, maybe you would uh, want your husband to take a look at these and, and see what he has to say. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. I, uh, you're not married? No. No, I'm not. I, I I'm, just assumed, you know, you were pregnant and Um, no, this is this baby is a very good friend of mine and I haven't told him yet. Uh but I want to get the oh, room painted. You should tell him. Well, you, you know, they tell say him. a woman did that to, something like that to me, you know. She I didn't find out I had a child until the child was four or five years old. Wow. Yeah. Don't even know the right age, you know, sort of, because it was a range. So do you see your child at, at all? No. Is that by choice, or are you not allowed to? She did not. She made it clear, that abundantly clear, that she didn't want me involved in the child's upbringing, and so huh. we just no, came to an arrangement. I'm reconsidering if you should even be helping me pick out this color for my baby's room. Oh, if she had told me up front, if she had told me early, but it's just sort of like, you know, you come into a child's life when they're four or five, they're already developed, you know, you have no real say in their life, you, you might as well just be interacting with a, with a stranger, you know. Yeah, at that point you might be onto like blues and yellow paint for their room. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> So you're single. <laughs> well, I'm not married. Let's just put it that way. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Good to know. Just just, you know. I do I do I have a few lady friends that I see. Oh, a few. Well, yeah, well. well. They all know that there's other women, and and you know it's nothing nothing serious. So I, you know, how progressive. Try, I try to be very fair with them. You know, I see them equally. Sure. Well, maybe you can just stop by my apartment with the swatches, and we can look at them together. Uh, sure. That would be fine. You want me to stop by the? That would be fine. That would be great because right now these are like magic eyes that I can't figure out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we cut away from this scene uh, to out, outside of a really fancy home where people are painting a house. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, guys. How long have you been painting on this side of the house? Ah. Uh, hey, Mr. Jacobson. We're uh we're almost done. We're almost done with this side. Probably like I would say like three four days. This is the side of the house you painted last week. Yeah 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 yeah. That was primer. You gotta prime it up a couple of times. You know, 
There's a lot of storms in this area. You get you can't be too careful. Oh, I thought you had already primed this side. We did. We like to prime three times in a row. Once when it's still a little sticky. Second time completely dry. Third time, we just we're waiting for the exact moment before we start putting the real paint on. All right, all right. We're watching paint dry. We're literally watching paint dry. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I mean, do you think we shouldn't be getting paid for um for our time of sitting here and like? No, I I just am, I'm regretting uh, agreeing to paying you hourly. That's mainly what I'm I'm thinking. You know, the, there was the option to just pay you for the project. Right. You know, and it seemed high to me. Uh, so I went with the I'll pay you by the hour option and. And honestly, it's it's been weeks, uh, yeah. and uh, I didn't think it would take this long. Well, that's where they get you, you know. You put a you put a big price up. People say, "Whoa, too much," you know. And then you go, "Well, we'll do it by the hour." You, and then in your mind, you're like, "This will take seven hours." Never, never takes seven hours. Yeah, well, this job has taken like 107 hours or something by this point. Yeah, by my calculations, we're going on uh, 98. Nine, oh, 98. Okay, well, that's, I guess, better than I thought. So we're not done yet. We're not done. We still have the no, garage. No, I know, but I was counting the hours, and I thought it was like 107. So if you say it's 98, that's great. Say well, right now, today it's 98. So. Yeah. You know, it would help uh, some of the guys... They're used to, to people bringing out snacks, lunch food, lunch meats, cold cuts. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. You can bring food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, we're we're used to, like, people bringing, like, the, you know, the lady of the house bringing out some lemonade, some something to fuel the, uh, the boredom of watching this paint dry. Oh, well, uh, well... Uh, Norma isn't going to be home for a while. I guess. I guess if you do, you, did you want a beverage? I, I have some beverages. If you, if you, I don't know if I have much for you to eat, but I'll take a beverage. Uh, uh, I got some beer. I got some lemonade. Some uh, some iced tea. Some sweetened iced tea. Sun tea. Ooh. Good stuff. Sweetened sun tea. Why don't, can you do like a, a like a layer of each one of those? Beer. Just like a lemonade. You want the beer as well? Like an Arnold Palmer, but with like beer, lemonade, iced tea, sweet tea. Whatever's the heaviest, I guess, should go on the bottom. All, all right. Well, I'll, 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 go, I'll go look. Okay. See if I've got a big enough glass for that. Thanks. I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, Carl. Carl. What? What? <laughs> Carl, yeah. he keeps he keeps talking about his wife Norma. I don't think this lady exists. Oh, really? Yeah. Because because there's like I looked in the window and there's like there's like ladies' clothes in the <laughs> in one of the closets. So what? Maybe he wears those. Get out! He doesn't wear those clothes. I don't know, man. I haven't seen one lady here oh. once. No, he, I'm sure Norma, Norma must exist, yeah? I don't know. I mean, I, come on. You know we never asked for drinks and food. I was just trying to get him to fess up. Um, why don't you talk to him, and I'll go sneak in. I'll go sneak in and see if... You can sneak in the house? You can't break and enter? I, no, I'll just be like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm using the bathroom. And I'll just see if there's, you know, anything besides sexy things, you know? All right, man. Be careful. Does that, you know what that means? If there's just like sexy things, right? That means he's wearing it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Right. You know, if it's like this, like pantsuits and stuff like that, then maybe Norma exists. You know. Right. Maybe she's like a high-powered lawyer, and that's what he's like a state. Yeah, home. she works a lot, so she's never home. Right. I can see that. Okay. I'll go check it out. You keep okay. him busy. Okay. Be careful. I will. Okay. Here's your beverages. Oh. Oh, where'd your friend go? 
He had to use the restroom. I hope that's okay. I know we're not supposed to go inside the house, but he really he can't use the backyard anymore. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I, I'll, I'll just give this one a taste. I'm going to warn you, it tastes terrible. Oh, that does taste terrible. I thought maybe it would, like, keep the layers, you know? Right. I tried, poured it really carefully so that I thought it would be, like, triple, like, layers. It all mixed up. You know what might work is if you, like, uh, if you freeze... Some, like, lemonade ice cubes. Have you ever done that before? Lemonade ice cubes, ice cubes that are iced tea, cherry soda. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah I've done that. I mean, I, I made some homemade popsicles once for my kids when they were still little. No way. You have kids? Yeah, me and Norma. We have huh. kids. They're, they're away at college, you know. Oh, wow. I was going to say, I didn't see any kids around or kid stuff. No, my oldest... My oldest, Mary, she's in uh, she's in uh, medical school. Wow. Yeah. So you, and, you and Norma have been married for a long time, then, if your kids oh, are that yeah. old. Yeah, we've been married 27 years. Descri describe your wedding to me. Um, well, uh, it, was, uh, it, was a big, it was a big wedding, I think, for the day, you know. It's a Catholic wedding. I'm and Norma's Catholic. I, I was not raised Catholic, but I, I converted for her. We were married in the Catholic Church, and a uh, couple hundred guests. You know, uh, it was just over the 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 church rectory. Nothing fancy. You know, uh, my dad was there. Uh, my mom, her her parents, had, her her mom had passed away, so it was just her dad. Uh, by that point. Um, but it was it was nice. We went to uh, where did we go? We went to uh, that island in Michigan. There's an island in Michigan. Yeah, it's an island off you know in it's in I don't if, even know if it's in Lake Superior or Lake Michigan, but there's Mackinac Island, Mackinac Island. We went there for uh, for our honeymoon. Hmm. Never heard of it. What, where is Carl? Carl seems to be taking a long time. I, I uh, you sure he's maybe he couldn't find the bathroom. Maybe I should go see. Oh, he'll find it. He finds bathrooms like a like a bat can find a cave. You know what I mean? I I didn't know that was a specific skill that people had. Oh yeah yeah I studied bats in college. I was a big bat guy, and then I realized there's no there's no money in it. No. No money in bat work. You'd think people would be hiring people to go inside of houses, get rid of bats, or, you know, maybe someone's like, I, there's a cave by my house and there's lots of noises and I need someone to get rid of them. Like, I could have been, I could have, in my mind, I wanted to be like a Pied Piper for bats. For that's bats. That's not a thing. Yeah, for that's bats. not a thing. No. Neither is having a skill to find a bathroom. I think that takes a lot of skill. I've been in lots of houses where it's, you you just don't know what doors you're going through. Well, yeah, but you check a couple. You can narrow, narrow it down pretty fast. It's usually one by the bedrooms, you know, and sometimes one by the kitchen. You know, you look for the wet walls. Sometimes that that can tell you in the in wet labor buildings. walls. The wet the walls. Wet. What does that mean? You don't know what a wet wall is? No, I've never heard of that before. Is that it's kind of like this island you're talking about? No, no, no. A wet wall. It's it's the it's the. Didn't you see the Matrix? No, I've, I. That's actually a movie I've never seen. You've and never seen not. the Matrix. I will not see it. You will not see the Matrix. Why not? Because I, there's certain movies I've never seen. I will not see the Matrix. Uh -huh. Um, the uh those mob movies. Which which mob movies? The main ones. There's there's tons of them. The ones that everybody... The Godfathers. The Godfather. Okay. Never going to see that. Never saw Aliens. Okay. These are some of the best movies ever made. Well. Just saying. I just... I don't like... I don't like anything that, you know, everybody likes. Everybody says to see. That's... It's not my game. We cut to an artist studio. Um, 
I look. I don't mean to be impertinent here. I, I, I appreciate the fact that you put in a lot of hours uh, on this painting, but uh, I gotta say it. I it it looks very. It looks a lot like some of the other paintings around here. It doesn't look like me specifically. Mm -hmm. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It mm -hmm. looks very general. Like mm -hmm. this is just you just paint the same painting over and over again and say. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me? Thank you. I mean, not a lot of people have a subtle eye that can realize that. I can see that you do. But see, I asked for a portrait of me. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know? I wanted a portrait of me, well, something that looks like me that I can put up in my office. See, I, I run a small business, uh, you know, and it's growing, and I think it's kind of gives you, 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 you want to have the founder of the company, a painting of the founder of the company. Sure. You know, I it, thought I explained it. Yeah, yeah, no, you did. You did. It gives you an edge to have a portrait of yourself over yourself. Well, it wouldn't sit right over my desk, but, you know, it would be in the lobby or something. Oh, even better. So people will walk in and see you right that's away. Right, that's right. That's right. They'll, they'll have a sense of, like, oh, my gosh, they'll see the painting, then they'll meet me, and they'll think, my God, I, I've seen this guy in a painting. Yes. But, see, yes. the problem is... This painting doesn't look like me. This painting looks, it, it's a, uh, it's kind of, it's almost got a Charlie Brown kind of quality where it just looks like an every man. Yes, you get it. So few people do. So that's what you were going for. Oh yes, every time. Obviously, look at all of my paintings. I guess so. That did you use the photos I sent you? Yes. Make, you did because I did. I, I'm not. That's not the shirt I'm wearing in the photos. That's no. not my hair color. Mm -mm. Nope. It's not. See, you've got the eye. <laughs> you get it. So should I charge your credit card or do you want to I, I don't think you should. I don't I'm not going to buy this painting from you. I'm I'm rather perturbed, to be honest. Oh, I'm sorry. I misread this whole conversation. I, you know, I would like my deposit back. That's why actually I'm here. Is I would like to, I would like my deposit back. Oof. I hear that. I get that. Mhm. Mm and. And. Right. So, I. There are things that happen with deposits. Um, you know, there's things that happen with deposits. So, a thing happened with your deposit. Why don't we just take a look at the painting one more time? Uh, all right. I I'm looking at the painting. I mean, it's a... Look inside of the painting. Like, look, like, really... It's, it's almost like you have to squint your eyes and see through the painting. Do you see uh, what I mean? Yeah, okay. I'm now, looking. now look for your mustache. I feel like that's what gives it away. See, I don't think I had a mustache in the paintings. That's the yeah. point. Oh, there's, you, there's a very yeah. distinct mustache. Yeah. Well, I went, I, off of, I went off of one of the pictures you gave me. No, that's what I mean. I don't think there was a picture. I don't think there was a mustache in the pictures. Hmm. I, shaved. I had a clean shaven face in those pictures. I remember. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Let me look at the painting. Maybe this isn't even yours. I mean, this is the one you. It has my name on the bottom. It, you know, it has a tag that says it's mine. Yeah. No, this is definitely yours. I, you know what? I think I just preferred you with a mustache. Oh, you sort of imagined in your mind's eye you saw the best version of myself had a mustache. Correct. You should. I I wanted to put a top hat on you, but I said that's ridiculous. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. And in the best best version of me, I have a purple scarf. Yes, Absolutely. is that why you put? And in the best version of me. I'm wearing a high school, a green high school leather uh, Letterman jacket. Don't you wish? Don't you wish you were a varsity football player? 
that detail especially, I have no idea where you got that, you know. Well, it's... I never ha owned a varsity jacket that looked anything like that. Bingo. Never owned one. But now, in this photo, you do. I, I guess. See, you're starting to see it. Before, you just saw, like, a blank canvas with dots, and now... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm not an artist. I'm not, a, I'm not uh, you know, I, that's why I came to an artist. So I guess, you know what, I'm going to... How about we do this? I'm going to take it to the office. I'm going to put it up, live with it for a week, and then we'll, and then we'll settle up. That sounds perfect to me. I'm, I will put it on loan. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's do that. We cut to the office... <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, there's just so many paintings in the lobby. No, no, no. Which one is me? Um, Can you tell which one is me? I mean, it's... The thing is, it's just like, ah, there's so much coming at my face right now. I mean, there's so many paintings in here. Oh, <sighs> Well, you can narrow it down. Which which of the paintings are of men? Let's oh. let's let's just start process of elimination. Okay. Because there's the horse, like there's the horse painting over there, right? That's clearly not me. Sure, but it could be a male horse. We're just you don't want me to do that. You just want me to look for it, a human. No, man. the painting is not intended to be metaphorical. It's supposed to be a painting of me. Oh, okay. All right. Were you thinking I was asking you metaphorically which painting I, was me? I just I I'm just trying to figure out my day. <laughs> you know? I'm just trying to figure out my day. Okay. Um hmm. Is it that one? Uh that one? Um Well, that's a group of people. That's they're playing uh, volleyball, beach volleyball. I like that one. That's a great one. It's a playful one, but no, I'm not one of the players in that. In that, did you think that whole thing was me? I like thought maybe the, maybe it was you. You know, back in your volleyball volleyball days. Mm, no, I did not have volleyball days. I just like the sport. It's my favorite sport. Oh, I imagined you as a, a varsity volleyball player. That's interesting observation. You've got so, strong arms. What? You've got strong arms. Oh, stop. You're always stop. volleying good ideas to everybody in the office. Oh, no, don't start flirting with me again. We don't want to go down that road again. <laughs> well, you're still single. <laughs> well, I know, but it's inappropriate for me. I mean, you know, Darren Darren had that conversation with us. Darren and personnel, you know, even though he's my I'm his boss, he still has to tell me, you know, where I need to draw the line with people and, and we were not drawing a clear line, professional line in our relationship. Yeah. Well, I mean it happens between secretaries and bosses. Mm-hmm. You're my assistant, not a secretary. Oh an stop it. I love that. Assistant. I love that. I got a t-shirt that says that. Nobody understands why I wear it. But you do. You get it. I Well, sure, because you're my executive assistant. Thank you. Okay, well, is it that white one? That's a skylight. That's not a painting. Oh, come on. No, well. Oh, I see it now. You can open that up? Yeah. Huh. No, the, it's the, the painting of me. It's the one over there. The oh. one just above the fireplace. Oh, sure. Yeah. Does I that see look it. like me? I mean, it looks like a very, like, a good version of you. Like, yes. Like, if, if you had a mustache... And it was winter, and you were a volleyball player. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you want to do some volleyball role play with me? Is that something that we should be doing in the office? No. 
Thank you. That's our show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin Mullaney. <laughs> yeah, you forgot to hit me in the it forehead missed, as the our tap, edit. tap out. <laughs> Wow, Thank that you. went fast. I really didn't think that. I thought we were like a third of the way done. I know, right? Half hour goes by quickly. That's crazy. Morning. I think a half hour on stage would feel a lot longer. Yeah, because we'd have to look at each other's faces. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> we're still looking at each other's faces. Yes, probably more so than if we were doing it. I know. We gotta try to figure out how to do like object work like with our fingers to be other people or yeah. something. I don't know. Well when I get when we you know, when we when my th new theater opens, hopefully I'll have internet there and I'm gonna be able to do I'll be able to Skype with people from my stage. Ooh, that would be cool. You could even do some sets on the improv if you wanted to. I would I would think like you could do like do you now I would curious, like do you do you do because I've seen a little bit of improv that you know uses the convention of the you know the, yeah. the, the, the don't pretend that it, you're next to each other that, that you're using the convention of a tele, as a video teleconference yeah we do I did that one of mine uh, spoiled space monkeys with TJ del Reno we just did it in my bedroom mm -hmm. so and I know Juliet and Christian do that with their improv house party so yeah, I want to try anything. I want to. I want to do anything, everything, all of it. Well, check back in with me when, you know, in a few weeks. Awesome. Let's change the world. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you. All right. Stop broadcast. <laughs>